Well, good evening again. It's uh, Reverend Dr. David A. Spencer, your Christian life coach, founder of Kingdom Mindset Development, your key to victory. And it is a Christ-centered coaching and counseling program designed with you in mind. Just come to say hello. There are some things I'd like to know. Well, welcome, everybody. It's been a while. I need to ask how you're doing. I know the last three months with the COVID-19 and all the other chaos that's going on in the world today, it's been a pretty intense time for everybody. But you know something? We're going to make it. We're going to get through it all. We will. And I believe that we're going to be better for it. Now, one thing that will determine that is what have you been doing since you've been in lockdown? Have you made it productive or are you just watching too much news and and uh, all the pessimism and negativity. I hope you've been, you know, reading or making plans for when this is over, because it's very important. You want to come out of this with a strategic plan because it's going to be a new normal. We know that. Things have changed. And so I'm here to talk to you about a few things, but I want to really encourage you because that's what I do. First, I have an announcement for you. Uh, if you're uh, interested in public speaking, uh, a group that I'm involved in, a coaching group, is called uh, Champion Mentors, Champion Master, let me see what it is, I, I get confused here, Champion Master Builders, right? <laughs> Anyhow, the, we, we are hosting a program, and uh, it's going to be starting tomorrow with Mr. Les Brown, Mr. Brian Tracy. Uh, it's called mastersandlegends2020.com. If you go to mastersandlegends2020.com, uh, you'll be uh, educated, you'll learn. And I'm telling you right now, I do a lot of uh, coaching and counseling online, virtual. So anyhow, that's the announcements. Excuse me, I had that name messed up. Just got involved with them. It's really good to have a team and have a coach and, and uh, somebody to mentor. Never get too old for it. Amen. Now, my name is David A. Spencer, a.k.a. The Encourager, or Doc, and I'm the CEO of The Bridge Builders, a quick and easy online coach and counseling method that works. Uh, I'm also a certified speaker and professional uh, personal growth and development specialist available to assist you as you pursue your dream and your purpose. For more information, you can go to drdavidspencer.com. Okay, I wanted to make sure that you, you get that so we can talk about it. <laughs> All righty. So today, uh, I felt like uh, I wanted to ask you a question. It, it, well, a statement, actually, it, be yourself. You, you know, it's time for you to be you, to you, for you to do you. A lot of people that I know, they, they, uh, they're always acting and trying to be somebody else. You know, basketball players want to be like... Kobe or Cody or whoever, you know, people that speak want to be like Bishop Jakes and everybody's copying somebody. And it's better to be a great original, you know, than a poor copy. And there's nobody like you. You're, you're like a snowflake. You're like a fingerprint. There's nobody like you. You're special. You have a greatness in you. You have purpose. You have a plan. And so I, I want you to be yourself, okay, in a... Um, it's important. It's important. The first thing, a point I want to talk about is, is, uh, is to tell you that you are special. Again, I just said it, there's no one like you on this planet. And you have to live your own life. It gets to a point where, yes, you gather information from people, you assimilate it, but then you bring it to where you are and use it to help you develop who you are. Don't be a copy. You're special. You have greatness in you, okay? You have purpose, and I believe in you. I believe in you, and I want you to know that, that don't waste your life. Don't waste time. Time is our greatest commodity. We have to be mindful of how we use our time. Is it, are we just being selfish, or are we trying to help people? One reason I do this is because I love people. I love people, especially underdogs. I love to encourage and pick people up because I know what it's like to be on that end the underdog and low self-esteem and, and uh, self-confidence, all that stuff low. And people came by and helped me, 
helped me. I walked out of school at 16 years old, left school right here in Fairhaven. Some of you might know me from junior high school. <laughs> and it was a bad choice I made. You know, for 16 years, it was almost like a, a, a spiral down, bad choices. I mean, there was a lot of up times in there, but the majority of it, as I look back, it wasn't good. And so I had decided to go back to school 16 years later because I wanted to go to college, but I needed a GED to be accepted. So I had had enough of what I had done with my life. I said, I need to go to night school and pursue getting the GED. And here's the importance of a coach and a mentor. When I went to night school in Wareham, my teacher, Mrs. Morris, she took a, an interest in me. She saw my determination and in, in, uh, persistence and consistency and trying to learn and get ahead. She kept encouraging me and encouraging me. And she'd come by my desk every week and say, Dave, um, we're going to have the test in a few weeks. Uh, are you going to take it? And I would say, oh, Miss Morris, I, I, you know, I like to read and I like history, but, you know, the math thing, that, that messes me up. And she said, oh, I believe in you. You can do it. And she would do that every week. And, and finally, I was getting like, man, you know, I wish you'd stop, you know, doing it. But she kept, so she kept on. So one day, a week before the test, she came by and said, Dave, you can do it. I said, Miss Morris, I'm going to do it for you. That was my excuse. I'm going to do it for you. Because I expected to fail, really, to tell you the truth. But I did it for her and passed everything. Went on to Bible college. At Bible college, again, a professor there took me under his wing, coached me, mentored me, and helped me. Right. So from there, I ended up with an associate's degree. Then he sent me to another school where I got a bachelor's degree, then a master's degree of divinity. All this persistence and consistency and determination and training and preparation because of these people who had coached and mentored me, uh, I was able to accomplish a PhD. And I was able to go back and take Miss Morris out and thank her so much because if it wasn't for her, uh, I would never have done it. But it's important to have people behind you, and we're going to talk a little bit about that. But in, in all that, you have got to be yourself because you're special. Number two is you are gifted. There's something you can do that nobody else can do like you do. See, I'm here speaking to you and there's hundreds of thousands of speakers probably, but I speak the way I speak. And there's an audience that I can reach that others won't reach. And you have a gift. It doesn't matter what it is. You, if you're unique, I believe your uniqueness is your key to success. I think about Joe Cocker. You know, if you listen to him sing, people would say, that's singing? Right? Michael Jackson, his own style. Joe Cocker, his own style. Right? A lot of other bands and a lot of people, they, they did it their way and they stood out because they did it way. They took that gift that they had, believed in themselves, and pressed through and Great things happen, and many people got blessed and received great joy from their gift. You have a gift, and that gift needs to be uh, cultivated. You need to go ahead and really be determined to study and learn about it, practice, do whatever you have to do to enhance it, because people need you. People need you, they, whether you're a musician or an artist or a speaker, whatever it is, a cook, whatever it is, you are gifted to do that. And there's nothing wrong with it, whatever it is, except criminal activity and things like that there. But you, even that, you can flip around for the good if you're in that place right now. I believe in you. I believe in change. But you have a gift, and you need to use that gift in order to go forward. You have an assignment, sort of like the gift. You have the gift. But you've also been put on this earth with an assignment. That's why you're still alive, because you have not completed your assignment yet. When, when you have, it'll be time for you to go. It'll be time to go. And it doesn't matter how old or young, we don't know the uh, effect of your assignment or the length of it. Okay? So when it's over, it's over. But you have an assignment, and you need to get on it. A lot of people say, why am I here? What am I doing on earth? Well, you have an assignment. And you say, well, what is it? Well, it's usually what you like to do. What you find yourself doing anyway without being paid. Those are the things that you are gifted to do. I sing. I preach. And I play music. I'm not really interested in doing much else. So I just pursue those things. And guess what? I succeed in them. I succeed in them. And you will too. 
exercise, get your assignment sharpened, get ready because something's going to happen for you if you're ready. If you're not prepared, you're preparing to fail. So you've got to be prepared. Listen, you, you've got to be determined. When you have a gift, you have an assignment, now you've got to be determined. You've got to be willing to put that cell phone down. You need to be willing to shut off that TV. You take some time and sit down. Uh, you know, I, I play guitar, so I have loop machines and things like that with drums in them. and things. So I can sit there alone and just run my uh, scales and, and different triads and uh, arpeggios and practice and practice and practice. Then when I create a song, I, I have a lot of uh, uh, stuff in my tool case to pull out, but that's because I know my dream, I know my goal, I know that I'm special, that's right, I'll tell you right up front, special and gifted. So I pursue the assignment and I'm determined, determined to, to succeed. And success for everybody is different. You know, uh, just because somebody has a lot of money or a big name, that, that doesn't mean they're successful. There's a lot of very miserable people that are rich materially, right? You could be happy just in a little house near the ocean. That's success for you. That's success. Nothing wrong with it. But you have to be, again, uh, uh, determined and you have to be persistent. You have to go for it. Go for it. Don't let anybody tell you anything else. Go for it. And when you get around negative people, don't fall into their trap. Just flip it. Use their negative remarks like gasoline on your fire to make you pursue even more what you're gifted to do. That's what I did. I did that with music. And I remember when I was in a band and I would try to sing and the guys would laugh so much that I had a laugh. I mean, I got mad, but then it got beyond mad to laughter because they were, they were having such a good time laughing at me. But later on, years later, when I was playing and singing in off-Broadway musicals, they came and paid to hear me sing. So I used that. I used that to go on and go forward. Amen. Now, uh, you know, if you have these things lined up, right, uh, you will succeed. You will, if you don't quit, you will succeed. When, when things get rough, as they sometimes will, and the road you're trudging seems all uphill. When the funds are low and the debts are high, and you want to laugh but you have to sigh. When care is pressing you down a bit, rest if you must, but don't you quit. You just keep on going. Success is failure turned inside out. The silver clouds of the doubt. You never can tell how close you are and may be near when it seems so far. So stick to the fight when your heart is hit when things seem worse, that you must not quit. Be yourself is what I'm trying to tell you. Focus on being yourself. I'm not saying not to have friendships and relationships with people. No, you need to go ahead and learn. That's how you learn. You need to have relationship. Uh, in, in, in the area of public speaking, again, a team. I'm a part of a mastermind, uh, champion mastermind group. That's the name, champion mastermind group. And also I'm affected, affiliated with Mr. Les Brown, who will be one of the speakers on the, the program tomorrow. And also with John Maxwell and hungry, hungry. And, and if you're hungry, you will succeed in whatever it is you want to do. But you have to pursue. You have to get a team around you. You have to be around people who are going to tell you what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. A lot of times in the mastermind group, there's a bunch of us and we practice speaking, public speaking, and then we critique each other. And, you know, I learned in Bible school when I went through homiletics, which is the art of preaching, that the teacher said, you students, when there's someone up there speaking, I want you to find out what's wrong. You, you can't help them if you just tell them what they're doing right. But if you, you see something like maybe they had their hands in their pocket too long or they're fiddling with the microphone or um, um, uh, 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 um, 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 those things you, you point out to them so that they can work on it, right? So you want to be around people, no matter what your gift is, that will be honest enough with you and care enough to tell you the truth. And then you'll see yourself just exponentially grow. But you've got to put in the work, and it is hard work, whatever it's going to be. It will pay off. You know, let me tell you something, this, this I know. Don't look for the money. Pursue your vision, because provision follows vision. Get it? Provision follows vision. 
And Zig Ziglar said this, that success occurs when preparation meets opportunity. Okay? So you've got to be prepared for whatever it is you're doing. If it's to be a good wife or to be, have a good marriage, you prepare for it. To be a good parent, you have to prepare for it. And, 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 and practice, practice, practice. Practice doesn't make better, uh, perfect, it makes better. Okay? So know that and continue to, to go on. I want you to look in the mirror every morning when you shave or after you get out the shower, you women, when you're combing your hair, putting on your makeup, and, and recognize and say, you know something? You in the mirror have to listen to me because I know you're just a covering I wear in order to function on earth. Because I'm going to tell you, your, your, your biggest challenge is yourself. That's why we have the word self-control, self-discipline, self-denial, because we have to control ourselves. It's almost like there's two of us. And one of us just wants its way, and most of the time it's you know, negative. It's just selfish and greedy. When the real you is probably saying, no, that's not the way to go. Do this, do that, don't do that, right? There's, some people call it your conscience, okay? But, you know, yourself can throw you off of, of your dream and off your goal. And I know you have purpose, and you've got to pursue it. I want to encourage you, pursue your purpose. Pursue your dream. Get your goals lined up. Every day, have something that you're going to do. Have it mapped out. Even if you don't complete it, at least you've got something accomplished towards your goal. If you want to succeed in life, this is what you need to do. You need to press in and, again, be yourself. I think about it, all the musicians and all the bands. and Lucky nobody said, well, I can't play as good as that guy, so I, I, I'm not going to play. Uh, I can't sing like him, so I'm not going to sing. There's so many genres of music, and there's so many, you know, I'm sure you watch... Uh, what the uh, what's that one? The Voice and uh, uh, with Simon, I forget the name of it. <laughs> Star something. But anyhow, you see these kids, 12, 13 years old, remarkable talent, phenomenal talent. I mean, sometimes I see them and I would just want to put my guitar away because they're so good. But you have value. You are who you are. They are who they are. I am who I am. And there is somebody that's waiting to hear your story. To hear your voice. There are people that you, that have been assigned to you to listen to what you have to say because you are special. Be yourself. You are special. You are gifted. You have an assignment. You've got to be determined. You've got to be persistent. And you will succeed. Again, this is Dr. David Spencer. Uh, CEO of the Bridge Builders, okay, a coaching and counseling program that works. Go to the website, drdavidspencer.com, and we'll see you next week. It's been a plum pleasing pleasure talking with you, okay? We'll see you later. to say